You're watching When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that you get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court. Oh, 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 oh. A few moments later. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trade back again to hit y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Nevada by way of Las Vegas. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Nevada. Everybody inside of the great city of Las Vegas. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, you all. This story right here really takes the cake. And I told you all at the end of 2023, 2024 is going to be off the change. Now, this story right here is making viral headline news everywhere in the world. You got people in Afghanistan talking about it. You got people in Singapore. You got people in Guadalajara talking about it. You got people all the way down in Louisiana and Georgia talking about this story. Yes. And for those of you who have not heard this story yet, it is very appalling what this man did. And this man go by the name of Diobre. Red. Now, who in the hell named Diobre Red and Diobre? I do not know. But what in the hell is going on with these strange ass names? And for example, just last week I did a story out of Florida and a guy was named Darkest. Now, who in the hell named their child Darkest? That's why I won't know. So not only are we dealing with a Darkest, we are now dealing with a Diobre. Now, Diobre was inside Judge Mary Kay Holtis, not Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen, no. Judge Mary Kay Holtis courtroom waiting to be sentenced. Now, Diobre has a history of violence. Diombre has a history of putting his hands on people, whooping their ass. Basically, that's what he's been doing. Now, Diombre was inside this courtroom just last Wednesday where it all went down there facing Judge Mary Kay Holtis due to the fact that he was being sentenced for felony battery because he loved putting his hand on people. And you would think after three convictions, Diombre would have got his act together. But no, not Diombre. Now, you could tell that Diombre was full of it the way he was standing up there looking with that little doodle -doo grin like this. See, when somebody looking like that, you can't take them serious because chances are they may be trying to fool you. Now, when he first came and said that, look, I'm a person, I'm a person who tried to do the right thing no matter how hard it is, that sounds like a damn lie right there because, number one, he started off stuttering when he said, I'm a, I'm a. Then he said, a person who never stopped trying to do the right thing. But, sir, Deombre, how are you trying to do the right thing when you always whooping somebody's ass? That's why I want to know. Now, Deombre been whooping the ass that we know of probably all his life, but we know on court records since 2015 when he was charged with a felony for felony battery for beating the hell out of somebody. So you fast forward up all the way to 2024, the beginning of the year, just last week, he caught another felony battery charge. But this time on the judge. And the judge by name who? Mary K. Holtis. So picture this. You got a guy who's already on probation. But really, DeAndre was facing a probation violation. That's what he was in court for because he called another charge. So, sir, you in court asking for probation when you was already in court for a probation violation. And then you proceed to attack the judge, which landed you another damn felony battery charge. Now, DeAndre has since been sentenced, yes, a couple of days ago to 19 or 48 months for attacking the judge. Not including the time that he already has to back up because anybody who have been in trouble with the legal system know damn well. If you're on probation or parole, guess what you got to do? If you get to do the charge, you got to back that time up or like juveniles say, back that ass up. But anyway, now, what even make it more appalling is the fact that when the judge broke it down that she wasn't trying to hear that mess, DeAndre said, F that, and proceeded to run and jump over the damn bench. 
Now look here, sir. You missed your calling. Sir, you supposed to be in the Olympics jumping like that. You supposed to be somewhere slamming a basketball. You jump higher than Vince Carter and Michael Jordan. You feel me? And Kobe Bryant. Now, you supposed to be somewhere catching football passes for the Dallas Cowboys. You get what I'm saying? Because that's my team, even though we ain't been shit in years. But we'll get better. But anyway, you supposed to be somewhere doing something more productive with your time instead of, sir, going back to prison, jumping on the judge. But did you see that damn court clerk? Come behind that counter and wear his ass out. That court clerk got some licks in. And the Pope Marshal, the court deputy, he got his butt whooped, had a whole gash on his head and everything. But anyway, we'll break the wrist down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, chaotic video shows defendant attack Las Vegas judge during sentencing. And guess what? You won't have to worry about him attacking nobody for a while. But do you also see how they have him handcuffed in this damn courtroom? Like that boy is Anthony Hopkins off Silence of the Lamb. You get what I'm saying? Look how they got him. Look at the comparison between these two pictures. You ain't going nowhere like that. You can't spit on nobody. You can't move. You can't shake a leg. And look at all these cops they got around DeAmbre. DeAmbre is an American what? Yes, gangster. Now, anyway, let's continue. Clark County District Court Judge Mary Kay Holt is trying to take cover when DeAmbre read and yelled out of splitters during the sentencing and came at her. Came at her like a vicious spider monkey, didn't he? I mean, he was not playing. Video shows him flying over the bench and violently dragging the judge down to the floor. And I wondered if he get a couple licks in on that judge because I couldn't tell that she was hurt or not. Hopefully, he did not hit that woman. But, sir, how you attack the damn judge? I mean, if you're going to attack somebody, attack yourself because you got yourself in trouble because you can't keep your own damn hands to your damn self. You get what I'm saying? Now, if you're going to attack anybody, number one, attack yourself. But also, if you're going to tax somebody, tax your damn lawyer. You feel me? Because he's the one standing up there making you think that you're going to get probation. How in the hell can you get probation when you're already in court for a probation violation facing new charges? That's why I want to know right there. Unless, unless, yes, you're a CI. And I know some of you all looking around right now like, Trey, what the hell is a CI? Them snitches know a confidential informant unless you work for them people. Guess what? You can beat all kinds of charges because guess what? They got YouTubers, yes, making videos and uh, snitching their ass off on a lot of people. Anyway, let's continue. Now, as Deion Bray Redding flew over the bench, chaos then ensued with at least three other men in the courtroom struggling to pull Redding away from the judge. And one thing I want to know, how in the hell did he make it up there that damn fast? You feel me? Like, because you always have a bailiff right there. You always have other deputies in the room. What in the hell was they doing? Was the deputy sitting there holding a the baby, eating some chips or something? Or was the other people around there just talking and thinking that DeAndre went about that life? Now, look here. I know this courtroom did not expect this man to jump over this damn uh, judge bench like that. But, sir, but, sir, y'all have to be prepared for anything when you are facing with these damn criminals inside this courtroom. Now, let's continue. The story goes on to say one of them who could be a court clerk is captured, repeatedly hitting a combative red. And later, a woman is heard saying, please, God, please, God, please, Jesus. And guess what? Wasn't no Jesus or wasn't no God up in that courtroom that day. But whoever this court clerk is or this district attorney is, they need to get this damn person some damn boxing glove because he'll wear the ombre ass. Now, look at him. Look at the passion in his face. And then he was talking to him while he was hitting him. Have you ever whooped somebody's ass and then talk to him while you hitting him? Like, you know better than messing with me. You feel me? That's how you really whoop somebody's ass. That's what we call a down south ass whooping. Anyway, it's going to close up before I get in trouble. And now I know some of you all are wondering, well, Trey, what in the hell the Umber was inside this courtroom for? Let me tell you right now. They say Redden, 30 years old, was at the hearing for a charge of attempted battery with substantial bodily harm when he attacked the judge, according to the news station, not the Trey King show. Because one thing about the Trey King show, as you all know by now, going on seven and a half years, we don't lie on nobody. We don't speculate. We speak number what? Fat, fat facts all day, every day, like my people in St. Louis say. Now, you would think that a person who have been in trouble so many times, being convicted of three felonies, you would think they would be on their best behavior. And Judge Mary Kay Holt has said in her 27 years of being in law enforcement, she have never witnessed no mess like this. Now, some of you all may be wondering, well, Trey, uh, did anybody get hurt inside this courtroom? Yes, yes. The judge had a few little scrapes, but the person who sustained the most injuries was the court deputy. Now, he had a whole gash on his head and a dislocated shoulder. And it's amazing they did not shoot him. You feel me? Because we know how these police get down. But, sir, back to Deion Bray jumping over this bench. How in the hell did you jump that damn high? You get what I'm saying? Now, I know they made a movie years ago called White Man Can't Jump with Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrison. But, sir, 
You should be in the NBA or somewhere jumping that damn high. That's all I'm going to say. Let's close up. And the story also said what led to Deion Bray jumping on the judge was the fact that he thought he was going to get probation when he was already in court for a felony battery and also for a probation violation. So how in the hell are you going to get a probation again when you're already in court for a probation violation with a new felony charge? But anyway, the story says before the attack, Brandon's attorney had asked hostess if they would grant him probation again. And guess what? He over there thinking that he's going to get probation. So in his twisted mind, maybe that's what triggered him to do this. Because maybe DeAndre actually thought that he was going to get probation because his lawyer was bucking him up. You know how some of these lawyers be inside this courtroom sometimes telling these people all kind of stuff, making them take these damn uh, pleas or whatnot. And then when you go to court, it's something totally different. Maybe that's what he told DeAndre. Because how in the hell can this man get probation when he already in court on probation violation? I mean, his attorney should have just told him the damn truth. But maybe his attorney was scared that he was going to get his ass whooped. So after Deion Bray told the judge, I'm a, I'm a person who never stopped trying to do the right thing, no matter how hard it may get, he proceeded to hear this from the judge. And this is what really triggered him. He was like, the hell with that. The judge told Deion Bray crazy ass this right here. She said, I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. I appreciate that. I think it's time he get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. Talking about his history of violence. And we're going to get to that in a second. But guess what, though? How in the hell can you expect to get probation, sir, when you're already in court on new charges, once again, for a what? Probation violation. It does not work that way. So after he heard that, he proceeded to run and jump over the damn bench and attack the judge. And now I know in closing, some of y'all are wondering, well, Trey, break down some of his charges, like, because you say that he was a, a three-time convicted felon. Tell us a little bit. Now, the story said this right here. Redden has pleaded guilty to and been convicted of three felony charges, including theft in 2015, battery with substantial bodily harm in 2018, and battery constituting domestic violence in 2021, according to the Las Vegas Police Department. And the story also said in 2016, a court convicted him of a misdemeanor charge of battery. See, he has a history of fighting, of beating the hell out of people. And it also says he was also convicted of a misdemeanor charge of destruction of property in 2023, according to the court records. So, sir, you've been catching charges year after year almost, putting your hands on people. But you made the one final mistake putting your hand on this judge. And guess what? They're going to sit you down for a long time because they also sentenced him for attacking this judge to 19 to 48 months. And also, he had to back up his probation time that he has not completed. So, he will be gone for a few years. So, you all won't have to worry about the young brain for a while. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story because it's crazy. Some people out here are doing the most craziest things. And then when they go to court, they want to act like big children. No, if you out here beating up people, you out here attacking folks for no reason at all, you should be dealt with and you should be locked up. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time. You all stay blessed, and I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out. You're watching When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong.